All right, check out these few websites, you guys. What do you think this website right here called thewirecutter.com, this website right here, which is called This Is Why I'm Broke, and this website called NerdWallet all have in common? Well, if you think that the answer is they all make a ton of money, you're right. Today, we're gonna be talking about different ways to make passive income. It's gonna be an awesome video, so stick around. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan with freedominfluencer.com and today we're gonna to be talking about passive income and some really cool ways that you can start generating a passive income online. Now, I have some really cool stuff in store for this video, so if you're excited about learning about passive income, then go down, hit that thumbs up, and if you guys want more videos on entrepreneurship, passive income, and basically making money online, I invite you guys to subscribe to this channel and be sure to hit that bell notification so that way you get notified of when I release awesome videos just like this one. So with that being said, I wanna share a few different ways that you guys can make passive income, all right? And I started this video out with showing you guys a few different websites, all right, that have something in common. And that something in common is they are all making a ton of money and I wanna share with you guys what they're doing to make that money, okay? So first and foremost, the first way that I'm gonna suggest you guys make passive income is to create an affiliate website, all right? That's exactly what all three of these are, so I wanna dive in and show you, okay? So first off, we have something called thewirecutter.com, all right? Let's just jump over. You can see all of these different things right here, these categories on this website. So let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see, right? So you have electronics, home and garden, kitchen, money, travel, so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna come down here. Let's go to home and garden, okay? Let's just go to bedroom. I'll click on this right here. And then, okay, let's just say, okay, great. Uh, the This one right here, let me zoom in so you guys can see it. The best mattress for back pain, okay? I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna take us to this page here. And then wouldn't you know it, all right? You can purchase right here and it says Tempur-Pedic Queen. If you click on this link, they are an affiliate for that product. And now, and one, I'll give you guys one more example. Let's go to electronics. Let's go to uh, gaming, okay? What the heck, why not? Best gaming laptop, all right? So this is another article. They give, they give you information on it. And right here, you can buy it from Amazon by clicking this link. Now, what I want you guys to understand is that this entire website, which probably has thousands of pages with articles talking about products, all right? have affiliate links that go back to Amazon, okay? You can sign up as an Amazon associate and promote their products and make money, okay? Now, what I got, I want you guys to truly understand and pay attention to this, because this is probably gonna blow your mind, all right? This website sold, okay, to the New York Times. And actually, if I zoom in at the top, you can see, if I can zoom in, there we go, a New York Times company. But that's not the whole story of this website. Now, I want you guys to check this out. Let's just jump over to the newyorktimes.com and let's take a look at this, all right? This guy right here, his name is Brian Lamb and he's actually the founder of this website called The Wire Cutter, okay? He created that website as an affiliate website, started doing reviews and talking about different products and what happened was the New York Times bought this website for over $30 million and I want you guys to think about that. All right, this guy right here, okay, created a website. He created an affiliate website, basically writing articles about products, linking back to Amazon, which is basically an engine. It's just pumping out money, okay? And he was able to sell the entire website. And if you come down on this article, and this is actually newyorktimes.com, right here, you can see uh, all the cash transaction was closed on Monday. This deal is worth slightly more than 30 million dollars, okay? Now, I know the question that you may be having right now is, why in the world would the New York Times pay this guy 30 million dollars for this website? And I want you to stay with me here because this is where the power of creating an affiliate website comes into play if you stay consistent with it and if you build it up. Now, obviously, disclaimer, you guys, that takes a lot of work. At that point, he probably had a team writing articles for him so that way they can continue to produce content and get ranked on search engines, okay? But keep in mind, this is this is gonna blow your mind. This is why he was able to sell it for $30 million. Now, 
I would imagine that once the, you know, the New York Times actually obtained this website and it became theirs, they purchased it. They also had a huge team to continue to grow this site to where it is today. So now I'm going to jump over here to a site. Um, this is by nichehacks.com. And right here, they're talking about the wire cutter. Okay. And I want, I want you guys to see this. This is insane. All right. This is why I'm sharing this with you. Approximately approximate monthly revenue for the wire cutter right now is $30 million a month. Now I want you to think about that. They obtained the website by purchasing it for 30 million. Obviously they brought on a team, they kept building the website and now what they paid for the entire website they're making in a single month. Okay. Now obviously that's probably approximately so averaging, right? So averages out, you know, okay, let's just say they had a really bad month and they only made 10 million for a month. This is the power of affiliate marketing, you guys. And I want to show you guys more. Okay. This website right here is called uh, this is why I'm broke.com. And you can see it's the same type of layout. Okay. They, they write articles about this stuff, uh, about different things. Let me turn on do not disturb. There we go. And they have articles and they link back. All right. So now let's just take a look at what that one is, uh, how much that one's making. So it's called this is why I'm broke. And I know it's up here somewhere right here. Okay. This one is making $70,000 a month approximately. Okay. And then there's one more, which is a big one that a lot of people didn't really know that this website called nerdwallet.com, uh, you know, they talk about finances, credit cards, you can see all their categories, savings, brokerage, mortgage. It's all about personal finance, right? Now let's take a look at this one, which this one, all this one blows my mind because I didn't even really know about this one. Okay. So let's jump up and, or did I pass it? Yeah. Nerd wallet is right here. So nerd wallet is now making approximately $800,000 a month. Okay. So what, what this really comes down to is affiliate marketing. Okay. But not just affiliate marketing, using a blog. Okay. And blogging about products, doing reviews, doing product versus product. And eventually you guys, when you link back and you keep pumping out content, this is now, obviously I'm showing you like the behemoth websites, right? These are some of the biggest and the largest websites, but I want you to think long-term if you were to build out an affiliate website, just like that. Okay. Mind blowing. I know it's crazy. Let's get into the second way to make passive income. All right. And guess what? It It's right here. YouTube. Okay. I personally do YouTube. You can see right here. This is my channel. I have hundreds of videos. It won't be before too long, uh, before I have over a thousand videos. But if I just jump over here, you guys can see this. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people say YouTube is not passive income because you got to put out videos. But here's what I'm going to tell you guys, okay? Because I'm a YouTuber. I do this. I make money with it. So what I want you guys to understand is that when you consistently put out videos and you get better at it and you can start ranking and YouTube will share your videos, I personally have videos that I made a year and a half ago that still make me consistent money, okay? Okay. And that is the reason that I chose to be a YouTuber is because it was a way that I could grow my brand, grow my business and make an impact in the lives of other people. So yes, I believe YouTube is an amazing way to make passive income. And of course you can tie in affiliate marketing with YouTube. That's what I've done as well, you guys. And I've made a significant income doing it. It's allowed me to quit my job. Okay. So again, I believe in YouTube. I also believe in affiliate marketing. If you guys want to learn more about affiliate marketing, uh, you can click the first link in the description of this video. Okay. So YouTube number two, let's get to number three, which is selling information products. Okay. This is huge right now. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't remember what it is. I think it's like a hundred billion dollars that, uh, in the last couple of years, and they project it to be like over a 200 billion or something. I, I might be messing those numbers up, but it's billions of dollars, you guys, for the informational product like right now what's happening. It's, it's a bang. It's happening. It's happening right now. So a couple of websites you guys can use teachable.com. And what I like about this one and the next website, I'm going to share with you. Actually, I believe all three of them completely free, completely free to use. Okay. They will just charge you a fee for what you're charging for your information products. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. But the first two is teachable. The second one, uh, is thinkific. Okay. These two websites are very similar. They have, a, they're a little bit different in their different ways of what, how they operate and what they do, but they're very similar. Okay. You can create and sell digital products and they're going to take a portion. If you sign up for free, you can also do paid, 
create your courses, sell them, and then there's no transaction fee that they charge you, okay? The last one I wanted to share with you is Udemy, okay? Have you ever heard of Udemy.com? You can go here and create courses. Now, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna put my, marketer, my marketer's cap on real quick and, and share a suggestion with you guys, all right? I think that if you wanted to create a course, what I would do is create a mini course and put it out on Udemy right here so that way you get exposure. And the reason is because you're leveraging their platform, all right? You know, there's hundreds of thousands of people that do know about this website. And if you didn't, congratulations, now you guys do, okay? It's called udemy.com. And you can come here and learn about anything you want, all right? And so what's cool about this is you can, if you have knowledge in something, you can put it up here as well, all right? And you're leveraging their marketplace to get found. Now, the reason I say mini course is because if you look right here, all of these courses right now are like 10 bucks, 9.99 for everything you can see on the screen. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see right here. Uh, 9.99, 9.99, okay? Now, here's the thing, is that these creators may have priced their courses at $100, at $200. But what you have to understand about Udemy is at any time, because they're the owner of the, the entire uh, platform, they can put your courses on sale anytime they want. That's why I say create a mini course, okay? And use it to build brand awareness and drive traffic to other courses that you create or your master course, okay? So I hope that makes sense. But three amazing websites, you guys, selling digital information, selling products, digital products, is a booming industry right now and it's making a lot of people a lot of money, okay? So that is number three. Let's jump into number four, which is self-publishing, okay? Self-publishing physical books on Amazon and also eBooks, so Kindle books. You can create them or get them created for you by outsourcing it and sell them on Amazon, okay? So obviously, you guys probably have maybe even bought a book off of Amazon. There's, there's millions of books on here, okay? And I'm gonna show you where to go if you guys want to do this, okay? So these are physical books right here. The other one is called KDP, which is Kindle Publishing Direct, right? And I'm gonna teach you guys about that here in just a second. But Kindle books, all right? All these now are Kindle books and you can purchase books there. But the cool thing is you can sell them. And if they do well, then they, people, more people will find them and that becomes passive income, okay? The money just keeps coming in. Now, I wouldn't say that you could get you know, rich with this. However, I have seen a couple of people get rich with this and make a lot of money, right? But just understand that everything that I'm sharing with you is a process. You have to commit to the process. It's not gonna happen overnight, but it's absolutely possible. And there are people making a killing doing every single one of these. So if you guys are interested in uh, self-publishing, you go here, okay? This is KDP through Amazon. It's Kindle Direct Publishing. It's gonna take you to a website like this. You sign up and then you can start to use this platform to get your book published and put on the Amazon platform, all right? Now, if you guys want like step-by-step -step guidance on this, then I might leave a, a link below on creating your course uh, if I, ha I have a suggestion down there or simply go to YouTube, you're already on it, and look for Kindle publishing uh, tutorials, okay? There's tons out there, okay? So if you guys got any value out of this video, go ahead, smash the thumbs up. I truly appreciate you guys for doing that, and so does the YouTube al algorithm. It will really help the video, and I truly appreciate you guys for that. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer, and of course, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.